another uh, Fox News alert. We're seeing more attacks from the Houthis in the Red Sea as Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin is still in the hospital. All right, Trey Yinks brings us up to date. He's live in Tel Aviv. Trey. Yeah, hey guys, good morning. Iran backed Houthi rebels are continuing attacks against ships in the Red Sea. According to U.S. Central Command, a cargo ship that was traveling from Brazil, ironically to Iran, was targeted with two missiles launched from Yemen early this morning. The Houthis claimed the vessel was linked to the Americans, but in reality, this ship was Greek owned. A spokesman for the Houthis claimed the attack was, quote, in vindication of the oppressed Palestinian people. 130 days into the war between Israel and Hamas, that conflict continues to influence global military and political actions. On Monday, President Biden met with Jordan's King Abdullah, the pair calling for a two-state solution here and discussing the expected Israeli offensive against the Gazan city of Rafah. Biden expressed that Palestinian civilians need to be protected and said this about the broader conflict. And I'm working on this day and night with the king and others in the region to find the means to bring all these hostages home to ease the humanitarian crisis and to end the terror threat. Today, CIA Director William Burns is in Cairo. He's meeting with Egyptian negotiators, the Israelis and the Qataris, trying to hammer out the details of a possible ceasefire agreement. Ainsley. All right, Trey, thank you so much. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.